Time for a garden update. It's been a while since I posted my last one. So I wanted to show you guys how crazy everything is growing now that the weather's gotten really nice and sunny. The potatoes have grown like mad. I'm just about to add a bunch more soil to them. I don't want to show you the berry patch because it's kind of <laughs> insane. <laughs> I think I underestimated how big my blackberry would get. So see all this here? This is all from my blackberry. It was covering over. That's the little huckleberry there. It was covering over it and then I had it kind of branched to here. But I'm like, okay, the poor huckleberry isn't getting any sun. So I had to cut away a bunch of branches, tame it down a bit. But isn't that crazy? And then I had to pull out. It had sent some shoots over here and had new growth coming up behind the blueberries. So I had to pull that out. But isn't that insane? And there's my through. Um, and as you can see, I will have a ton of my thornless black satin. Ooh, you get out of there. I hate this vine crap that goes in here. Oh, choking off my plants. Um... So you can see I'll have lots of blackberries. There's a ton of blueberries, which is crazy. I didn't even give them fertilizer this year, and they have just gone nuts. So tons. There's three plants here. They're dwarf blueberry. Then this is my salmon berry, which <laughs> this was a tiny little plant. I bought like a little twig a couple of years ago. I bought it in 20, yeah, two years ago. And uh, it didn't really produce much last year. And then this year... It's just, uh, yeah, I thought a lot of this was weeds, but nope, this is mostly salmonberry. And then what's crazy, too, is it also sent up some shoots over here. I started to pull these out with my bare hands, thinking it was my thornless blackberry. And ouch, nope, this has thorns. It was the salmonberry. But isn't that crazy? So I'm going to pause this and walk around the side so you can see the rest of the stuff. Actually, we're at the back. But this is pole beans and what is this one called again? dragon tongue beans so they've been a bit slow going because it was pretty chilly start to spring but they're starting to go now uh, the potatoes i already showed you they're looking awesome and then over here to the raised beds these are the sugar magnolia tendril beans that i got from baker creek i grew from seed and look at no wonder tendrils in the name the tendrils are crazy look how many there are isn't that wild? I mean, look at that. I'm always fascinated by peas and beans, but these are just insane. The amount of tendrils they put out is so cool. But we haven't produced any beans yet, but we will soon, I'm sure. And then there are also um, blizzard snow peas. And then I just bought some crookneck squash that I think I'm going to put out front, actually, and some more types of beets. Um, I've got four types of tomatoes here that I need to trim up. I'm going to do that right now before the sun goes down. Um, these are some Anaheim peppers. Um, pink, Chinese pink celery. These are some golden beets. And then over here we've got more of the golden beets in here. And I think the squirrel has been running through here because these are a little messed up. This is an assortment of lettuce. These were all planted. These are lettuce and then this is a Japanese wasabi radish. And these were all planted from seeds from Baker Creek. My new favorite place to get stuff from. The lettuce is all coming in really nice. These were the only starts that I planted were these, um, for lettuces, were these romaine and the kale. And they're both doing really well. And now starting to, they pretty much, I probably could have waited a month to plant them because just like last year, um, I planted a bit early. It was, it was chilly and so they basically have not gotten any bigger than they were since I planted them. So they've added some more leaves, but other than that, they haven't gotten any taller, but the kale is looking good. Um, then we go over here and we've got the, um, these are, uh, what do I have here? I have, I think I have two types. Uh, I don't even know. I have these, I have these new tags, but these wooden tags are just like, forget about it. They are, uh, yeah, they're faded off, but this is um, snow, pe snow peas, no, sugar snap peas, and they are starting to produce some peas. I just ate a couple of them. They're really yummy. This is my broccoli and cauliflower, and this was a Romanesco, which is a hybrid of broccoli and cauliflower, and I planted that in the fall, but I need to treat it because something is munching on here. Um, there's some shallots that came from my far box, farm box and I didn't eat and they start sprouting so I put them in here. My strawberry patch is already producing. I've already picked like 20 strawberries so 
so they're already producing. I'm using this berry tone fertilizer, which obviously they love. Um, you can see all that dead growth underneath, and that's pretty much all it looked like by maybe a month ago. And now all of a sudden it's producing berries, which I think is crazy. So we're going to pause, and I'm going to go to the front raised bed. This is the bed in front of my bedroom window, and this has three types of garlic. We've got uh, chestnut red, music, and we've also got a couple of the big tall ones you see there are elephant garlic. And then I also planted some, I believe they're white onions, and they're on the ends, but everything's doing really well. I'm glad I repurposed this space. It was uh, some kind of ugly perennial shrubs and some weird... Um, I think they were irises or something, but they did not look pretty at all when they came up. They just kind of looked like onions for a long time and then gave a dull looking flower and then died. So I said, this will be another vegetable garden. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed my quick little tour here of how things are growing. And uh, I'll give you another view of things in a month.